Hello everybody and welcome back to Season 42 of the Pichu London Cup Series. Today we're at Richmond Raceway for the running of the Toyota Owners 400. On the pole will be the number 22 of Garrett Albertson, alongside him with the number 50 of Jackson Nantle. Row 2 is John Andrews and Foster Henderson. Nick Sachita and Cole Binion start row 3. Claire Richardson and Stewie Moore start row 4. And Chris Leone and Maxwell Smart round out your top 10 here in today's race. Let's take a look at all how all the drivers will start off here in today's race. And our winner from last week was, was um, Giovanni Castillo in the number 19. He took the checkered flag in the Coca-Cola 600 in last week's race. And it looks like he is going to be, uh, must have missed him um, probably in the middle of the lineup. And it looks like he's going to be starting in 18th. So he's going to be 18th and uh, must have passed him. Take a look at him. There he is right here. 19. He's going to start alongside Salmon Oscon in that row. So the cars roll off the track. And it'll be a 40 lap race under the lights here at Richmond. 11th race of the season now. Almost to the halfway point of the season. It's going to get intense. Garrett Albertson leads the field to the green flag, and we're going to be underway in the Toyota Owners 400 at Richmond. The green flag waves. First lap goes to Garrett Albertson. I mean, Jackson Nantle, though, did have a bit of a fight on the high line. He might still have a fight on the high line. Is he going to be able to hang on? Garrett Albertson, Jackson Nantle battle for the lead. A little bit more grip on the high line coming into the exit, so is that going to make a difference? Looks like Garrett Albertson is able to pass him and clear the 50. Albertson clears the 50 now, and there you see the three of Nick Suchita trying to take third spot away. Can Nick Suchita make that third spot work? And it's gonna he's gonna make it work. We have a caution for the first time tonight. Looks like Hayden Stringer was involved in the caution. Let's take a look. There you see he got right into the 17 of Juan Rodriguez. And that's what brought out the caution. Hayden Stringer spins. Oh, it looks like Wyquell had an issue and had to come to pay road. Looks like he had an issue um, on lap number two and had to come to pit. And looks like the leaders are going to pit on the fourth lap of the race, which is kind of weird, but I guess they're going on a different strategy. That's going to give the lead to Nick Suchita. And the green flag is out, and just like that, a caution's out, and I missed it. Wow. Okay. Oh, my gosh. It, it happened so fast, I, I, I didn't even catch it. My, wow. I apologize. I, I missed it. It happened really quickly. I, I, I just, uh, wow. I, I have nothing else to say. I apologize. Um, it happened really fast. <laughs> like on the first and second lap within the, uh, the restart. Caution comes out. I wasn't able to catch it, unfortunately, but I think it involved these two because they're in the back. Um, on the 18, the 18 is out of the race. Ross Boss is out of the race, unfortunately. Must have been the second caution. So the green flag is out again, and Nick Suchita is in the lead. John Andrews, Maxwell Smart, Foster Henderson, and Rich Roy in the top five right now. They had a handful of cars pit early on. There you see the early pitters and Garrett Albertson having a little trouble with the 99 and 50. It looks like the 50 is going to try to get his revenge. And the 50 car was able to clear the 22, so he did a, a great job there clearing the 22 from the pack. Ooh, tight squeeze there. Nearly a, nearly a tight squeeze. Looks like the 43 and one car had to pit. 
Claire Richardson and the one of Unleash Your Quillies and little some problems they had. And Dmitry Barnovsky has to pit again. Must have been a, a, little, a little issue with the um with whatever they were having in that during that second caution. So must have been a big wreck I missed. So Nick Sachita takes the lead, and he's able to retain it right now. Maxwell Smart in third, and John Andrews running second. And here you see the drivers. Not much action going on. Let's take a look at the middle pack right here. Cassie Reynolds trying to get by Sharona Evans. The 11 car is going to get by. And Stringer, is he's, he's going to try to go on the bottom. And he's got that pass. There you see fourth spot is Foster Henderson running in the fourth spot now. And fifth spot, Rich Roy. And these guys right now is trying to wait for the right move. Jackson Nantel has been trying to work his way back up to the front. Probably with those fresher tires. Not sure if that's going to help him out a bit, but he's going to try to make them work. Nanto makes it work, and the 50 car gets him by. Gets by. 50 car gets by. A three-wide battle. It looks like the 22 is struggling. Looks like Garrett Albertson is having some issues right now. Look at the damage he has on his side. Well, not really running well. He was on the pole to start things off, and now he's dropping back. 22 is not having a great race so far, unfortunately, after starting on the pole. Nick Suchita, though, has had the strategy, and so far he is right now up and running. No one's been able to try to pass that number three car. That three car has been strong all night long. Still halfway through. Anything can happen here at Richmond. Last year's race, we had an overtime finish, and it was an underdog winning it. Rufus Langerick took the win in last season's race here at Richmond in the overtime. So will we get overtime here at Richmond this season? Could be down to pitch strategy. It could be down to um, whoever, who's ever uh, got the better run. Should be a lot of fun to see the um, the end of this race. It's going to be, you know, probably surprising. Sorry about that. Uh, I had to step out for a bit. Um, Nick Suchita is still in the lead now with 15 laps to go. He has not won a PLCS race so far, but this could be the night he does it. Last season, he ran as a rookie in the 43. Now moves on to the 3. We'll see if he does better here this season at Richmond. Oh, Foster Henderson trying to get a move on the 20, but that 20 car is able to get a run up on the high line. There you see Stewie Moore also trying to work his way up for a new another position. That's against Christian Vargas. 
Let's do more as one of our, our rookie winners this season. 13 laps left and still haven't taken pit stops yet, so now it could come down the final laps for them to take the pit stops. That would be really interesting. Now, it's going to, who knows what's going to happen. Nick Satita has been able to stay neutral. These guys haven't really been able to move a little, haven't been really able to move a lot. I'm not sure what it is, but with just 12 laps to go, they're hoping something can happen. Eleven laps to go in day in Richmond, and Nick Satita trying to hang on for this win here. And they haven't pitted though, and they might be may might have to come to pit road sometime. If they do, well, we might be in for a surprise. We saw the drivers pit later in the previous one. That's when it happened. There was a wreck behind them, and it led to overtime. Ten laps to go here at Richmond. And now we're just nine laps away from this race taking the checkered flag right now. It looks like the 10 car is going to try to make a move on the 37. And the 10 car is able to go down the bottom lane. Oh, wow. Nine car nearly loose. Nathan Ormond nearly got loose on that corner. A close call there by that number nine car. But just eight more laps left. Seven laps to go here at Richmond. Oh boy, time is running out for these guys to catch up to the leaders. Nick Suchita, though, has led almost every lap so far of it since taking the lead during the pit stops. Um, first caution. And no one's been able to catch him ever since. Six laps to go now at Richmond. And this might turn into whoever has the most fuel. <laughs> This could be interesting. Could be a very interesting finishing coming up. We've seen interesting, bizarre finishes at this track before. Well, we have another one. Three car hangs on right now, coming to five laps to go. Just five more laps around Richmond Raceway. Very quick race and only two cautions all happening early in the race, but we'll see. Anything can change. Half a second has everybody over with a three car over the second spot. Oh, some cars are pitting. Uh oh. Look at this. These guys are pitting. They're going to pit with four to go. Oh boy. They might, they're hoping for a caution at this point. Hoping a caution can get them a, a little bit ahead. Now Suchita is trying to stay out and trying to save as much fuel as possible. Trying to keep that lead. Oh, Suchita is not going to be able to make it. He's not going to make it. He's going to come to pit road. John Andrews leads with three to go. Three laps to go for John Andrews. He's trying to hang on and win this thing. He's got to avoid the lap traffic first, though. Driver's coming off pit road. Can John Andrews make it here? And coming to two laps to go, he might not make it. He's out of gas. And there's a caution flag like in the last time. Are you kidding me? This happened again. Another spin. This time with a 22. I think this happened again. This happened last season. I think this also happened last season. Right in. Look at that. Look at this. The 15 got into the 22. That was definitely uncalled for. 
That was definitely uncalled for. I mean, wow, what was that about? Yeah, I think this happened last season. Oh my gosh. Now the two's out of gas, and the 50's trying to hang on to win this race. Now the 50 is going to lead. Is he going to be out of fuel? No, he's not. He's going to stay alive. He's going to fight for the win. Oh, who would have thought we had another overtime finish here at Richmond? Oh, my gosh. Just when you thought it was not a fun race, it just turned into a fun race. Oh, my gosh. What a race it's turning out to be. Anyway, when we come back, it'll be overtime here at Richmond, so don't go away. And here we go, folks. Another race going to come down to overtime, and Jackson Nantel's out in front. Here we go back to the green flag here at Richmond with two to go. And here we go. Look at the 48 going. He is trying to go on the run here. He only has two laps to catch up to the pack though, so we'll see if he can make it. Here we go, coming to the white flag next time by. One lap to go for Jackson Nantel. Oh, they're getting loose. 37 and the 4 save it, though. They got loose. Jackson Nantel, though, great start for him. That's what he needed. And here he comes down the final corner. Can the money team earn its first win in the PLCS? It looks like they will. And here it comes off the final corner. Jackson Nantel takes the win in the Toyota Owners 400 at Richmond. Jackson Mantle wins it here in overtime. And it was all about pit strategy and that lucky caution. That lucky caution brought him, got him into the front. He saved the fuel. was able to hold off the pack for the win. And the 50 car just makes it on fuel. Jackson Mantle wins it. He's back. He is back with a new team. Jackson Mantle takes the victory. And here's how the rest of the field finish. And what a win for that team. Their first ever win in the PLCS for the money team. An impressive run. And who would have thought they were the first new team this season to capture their first win here in the PLCS. I mean, no one would have expected that the money team would get their, would be the first to get their first win among the new teams this season. But the money team proved everybody wrong here today by getting their win at Richmond. And Jackson Nantel, it's his first win since mid-Ohio in season 40 and only his third career victory. So what a run for Jackson Nantel. He gets the job done. He competed in a part-time schedule last season, but now he's back in a full-time run and he's going to be back in the playoffs. Oh yeah, he's back in the playoffs, folks. So watch out. He might be a factor in this season's playoffs. Anyway, hope you enjoyed our race from Richmond, and next weekend, we'll be heading to Michigan. Michigan Speedway will be, our next, will be where our next race will be at, so you don't want to miss that race um, up in the Irish Hills. And until then, we will see you guys later. We'll see you guys in Michigan for our next race, and until then, we will see you guys next time.